You need to push the pendulum past the center just to get back to where you need to be. Throughout her career, Dr. Josephine Hill Pienge has been a leader and role model promoting the advancement of women in the engineering profession. When I got into the work world, then I saw the differences. So it wasn't so much discrimination as more patronizing comments like, oh, you're a girl and you're in engineering. How good for you. It takes a long time. Il faut beaucoup de temps pour changer les attitudes et tout le monde a des préjugés. J'en ai aussi. Je dis souvent que lorsque je pense à un médecin, je vois un homme parce que notre médecin de famille est un homme. So I think of men. So everybody has those biases. I think being aware of them is one important factor. And I think now people are more aware that they can't keep doing what they've done before and why certain things aren't appropriate. As a mentor, Dr. Hill encourages students to pursue the field of their choice, but she warns them that there are many roadblocks to navigate. I remember certain phrases people told me as I went through uh, and how to approach different problems or, or what to do. For example, when I was an undergraduate, there were scholarships just for women and I didn't want to apply for them because I said, no, I want to be judged on my merit, not for this reason. And one of my professors, he said, well, you know, if a cow comes along and it needs milking, you might as well milk it. And so I learned that if you, you have an opportunity, take it, get your foot in the door, take advantage of that and move forward. So having those mentors, I think, is very important to, to guide you around the obstacles that you will face. Josephine Hill est active dans le domaine du mentorat. Elle est membre de WISE, un système de soutien pour étudiantes, participe au programme Operation Minerva, un programme d'accompagnement en emploi pour filles, et responsable pédagogique du programme de mentorat en ligne CyberMentor. CyberMentor is a program that started at the University of Calgary, actually by our president, Elizabeth Cannon. And it's a program where girls get matched with uh, a woman in science or engineering, and it started as an email program. We do it over the web now. And so the girls and the mentors meet about once a week, or chat once a week. And then there are other events where they can actually meet in person and do different activities. So it's really just to get the word out and let girls know uh, important things like stay in your maths and sciences, don't drop those because it'll be that much harder later on. She's been a great supporter of women in engineering, whether it's encouraging women to uh, enter engineering or to consider careers in engineering, or um, has uh, lots of great ideas on how to support undergraduate students, graduate students, and female faculty in the Shulk School of Engineering. I really love working with the students uh, on the teaching and the research, so I hope I can continue to do that. It's really nice when you walk into a classroom and there is like, it's like the teacher's a, like a woman just sort of show like, it doesn't matter whether you're like a guy or a girl, like engineering can be for like anyone who wants to be an engineer. Study after study has shown that if you have diversity, including gender diversity, businesses do better. So to approach problems, you want to look at it from different, uh, different angles and people with different backgrounds bring those different angles. For promoting the great value that engineering brings to our society and for serving as a leader and role model, Engineers Canada is proud to present to Josephine Hill Pienge the 2013 award for the support of women in the engineering profession.